Hey everyone, welcome to another Hitman 3 video sponsored by RageWorks.net. This is the ninth elusive target mission. We're going to take out Philo Newcomb, aka the Heartbreaker. First, we're going to watch the briefing and then we'll get going. Good evening, 47. Your target is Philo Newcomb, a wedding planner whose CV reads like a Shakespearean tragedy. While his job is to make dream weddings a reality, he is not in the business of fairy tale endings. When one half of a couple catches his eye, Newcomb will ingratiate himself with them. Then during the course of his work, he will covertly murder their partner to clear the way for his romantic overtures. Our client was once the subject of Newcomb's infatuation and lost the love of her life as a result. Having some suspicions, she's followed Newcomb's career closely ever since and noticed a pattern of ill-fated lovers emerging in his wake. When she heard he'd been hired by a couple planning a destination wedding in Argentina, she contacted us about putting an end to Newcomb's sanguine love stories. Good luck, 47. If you were paying attention during the briefing, you'll notice that he killed one of the targets in the church in Sapienza. But, um, you'll see that I'm taking, aside from my suit and my choice of gun, I'm taking almost the same loadout that I did in the last elusive target back in Sapienza. And I almost feel like IO saw my video and felt sorry for me because they set it up where I could pretty much do the same thing I did there, except this time it's going to work. So, of course, we need the invitation. And, of course, I waited till the last moment to do the elusive target. I mean, honestly, it's been a very rough week. That's a long story. But, uh, yeah, I had about, you'll see, I had about just under seven hours to go. Wasn't quite as bad as the... Dartmoor elusive target, but I was like, I gotta get this done. I could have started at the shrine, but I mean, I always do default entrance. And with this guy, well, one thing you have plenty of is time. Because even with all this running you see me doing, after I complete the setup, it's still a good two, almost three minutes I had to wait. So the shrine actually has everything that we need for the kill. It has my stash, which is the micro remote taser. And it has a propane tank, which again, you saw me take back in Sapienza. I don't have a convenient cafe table, but things are going to work basically the same. Except this guy has no guards. Technically, he kind of has guards, but they're really his clients. And they don't follow him everywhere, which is great. Because they don't really like him. Which is also great for me. I mean, this guy is a real scumbag, but that's besides the point. So he brings them down into the theater because he's planning their wedding for um, to, to happen in the theater, which actually is really, really nice. These two ladies, uh, I hope they find a decent wedding planner after I'm done with this because uh, <laughs> clearly he's not going to finish the job. With the sound that that made, I kind of thought that I hit this sculpture right here, but I did hit the, the propane tank. We're going to fast forward here because you'll see as he's walking down the steps with them, he just keeps running his mouth. 
I did unpause it though because one of the one of the two ladies gives him the greatest burn against his job. It's like, just shit on my idea, right? Although those are Halloween colors. That is a really terrible combination for a wedding. Or pretty much any kind of design outside of Halloween. So he sits on the bench because he's frustrated that he can't enamor the, the bride. And he never will now. Expect the client's payment and a tasteful thank you card shortly. And the only problem with the method that I chose is it's noisy. So there were these two idiots standing over here. And this lady runs right to where I need to escape. Because even though I took the Requiem suit, it doesn't look like the shrine exit opened up. Which is why I'm walking around like this right now. And then when I realized I still got to do the vineyard... She's right there, and I just didn't want to risk it. I'm trying to look for another way. Then I figure I'll just toss a coin to make her walk away. And that's when the guards look like they gave up the search. Now that she's gone, I'm gone. And I want you to keep a close eye on the the mini map. Right there, almost messed up. I'm good with the guards. I just messed up this distraction bad. Bingo. It actually did pop that I got spotted. I was having flashbacks of Dartmoor and I was like, no. Not at the very end. But the game gave it to me. So, that's Silent Assassin. And that's it for the Heartbreaker. I want to thank everybody for watching. Head on over to RageWorks.net for all of our other great content. And I will see you in the next video. Everyone take care.